This will be an unboxing of the Corsair Hydro High Performance CPU Cooler H60. This is basically a replacement to the Corsair H50, which was an extremely popular uh, compact water cooling unit. This CPU, this CPU cooler does have support for 775, 1155, and 1156 because they are the same uh, socket connections, they are the same uh, backplate positions, they have not changed them. So if you have 1156 cooler, it will work on 1155 socket. We also have support for 1366 and AM2 as well as AM3. Moving on to the back, they have a little graph here that says the Corsair Hydro Series H60, 78.9 degrees at 100% low. This was on a Core i7 920 at 3.8 gigahertz. And they have stock CB cooler fail, but, but no temperature, so it's a bit of a biased uh, table there. Going around to the top, we can see all new micro channel copper plate, low profile direct flow design. Easy, quiet, easy to install. Specifications on the side. Radio dimensions 120 millimeter radiator by 152 high and 27 mil deep. The fan dimensions are 120 mil by 25 millimeters deep. Fan speed is up to 70, 1700 RPM. The fan produces 74.4 CFM. The fan noise level is 30.2 decibels. And the static pressure, which is the highest static pressure, is optimal for uh, radiators so you can have more air pressure through the fins dissipating that heat is 3.2 millimeters. On the other side we just have some H60 branding. Let's open it up. This cooler doesn't uh, cost a bit too much, it doesn't cost too much more than over the H50. The H50 is about three dollars cheaper but you're just better off uh, getting the H60 because you'll eventually find that the H60 is going out of stock. We have a stop warning and do not return this product to the store. Uh, uh, support contact Corsair directly. The solutions guide which I suspect is just overview of all their products. There's the H50. There's some Dominator GT memory. There's their solid state storage solutions, their flash drive solutions and their Obsidian series case. Also have a quick installation guide of how to install it with the different connections you will require for Intel, AMD and how to how to install it on the motherboard and those continue over the back all seven steps there for, for AMD and then on the other side is the Intel solution. Moving on to the inside find plastic and inside the plastic, we find hopefully the H60. Yes, we do. We find in this plastic bag, we find the, the radiator, 120mm radiator. You can hopefully see how dense that fin arrangement is. We have a mounting spot for a 120mm fan. We do have the base plate for the CPU that has thermal compound pre applied. This is a copper base plate, it's not especially shiny. And by the looks of it, it appears to be a convex surface, so that will provide a, a better contact to the CPU. Off, off the pump, we have a single three pin connector. You just plug that into your, your system fan connector, or power the pump. We have two adjustable uh, water cooling tube nozzles, so you can adjust that depending on how you want to mount the cooler in your case. Moving on with the unboxing, we've got 120mm fan, Corsair branding on it, Corsair did not make this fan, they, uh, with the H50 they license it through uh, another company, makes fan, it's a 4 pin pulse width modulation fan, it's a bit loud for my liking so you probably want to replace it with some, some other fans that may be a bit quieter and have a almost near the same level of uh, uh, static pressure and CFM output. In this little styrofoam bag we have all the brackets required. For, for Intel it appears we have yes we have the, the, the back plate for the Intel solution and there we have clips. Also in the box we have a, a do not eat do not eat to throw it away and then we have 
uh, mounting screws and clips for the installation. Thank you for watching the unboxing of the Corsair Hydro All-in-One H60 CPU.